batho ba ba ntseng tate ba bangwe ba berekisa go uja and then ba bangwe ba berekisa go itshasa one ke a o se fela ka go tlhatlile ke di chomi fela ke a jale ke na le keletso ya ona na go ke le prege ke di rata go ja mmuka go di no fila ke o ghalla thata ke o neng thwenetsa gore ke uja most of the time, bo meba na le takatso ya go ja mmu le ko magaeng ke go lakentse ke bona na di sting especially as ba le mo meleng so ke nthwe ko tsithata ka gore mmu o ga o tswane geophagy is an ancient practice of eating clay and using it for multiple purposes including painting bodies. This practice, which is originally from the rural areas, is taking place in Johannesburg, but people are using mine tailings instead of clay for geophagy purposes. Things are not normal uh, soil, and uh, they contain uh, a variety of substances that can be harmful to, to the health of the people. <laughs> Appendix. We toilet. Before the middle To the shaft is an informal settlement in Mohale City. Here, people live near mine tailings and use them for geophagy purposes. ba go loga re tla go fitla mo plekeng yena ya Tudor Chaft ka 94 ne le ditaba fa so ditaba tsena ne bongata ne le tsa mmua go tshwana le one o mo go ngwe le discoti then mo go ngwe ne le ditlhare fela so ba tlo ga ba tla go dula fana ke ya ka fela le gore ba levela motho a dule mo a thube thaba ye o alwe le one a felletse a tloma wa bona gore ka mmanete ba ntse ba itsetse ke ba itsetse khila ba motsentse mo tlu ha ke bo ke ba kata ka mmua go tshwana le one Sipo is an 18-month-old child who lives with his mother and grandmother in Tudor Shaft. He is one of the people affected by the environment he lives in. His eczema condition is being worsened by his exposure to my inhaling dust. Sipo utaile ele moto leng handle fela. Nansa le handle from kudia pe le abu bedi aburar. E ya bone. Ona sese arata udula ora haru mile haru muruta udul yena abato udula kadi mpawa. Hana nse kima lese kapete mofati haru na nse rituare ke na plazle mo pila mnyia kona le mo buo wa maine kina narko anom affecti lenga all because of the old process alta lo langwa na le soft tat le kona swaran chungu lungu kile kimisa mo di dokte di dokte zenga tete different. So, I was born in the same place, I was born in the same place. And eczema is high, high fail, there's no cure for eczema. I was born in the same place, I was born in the same place. Maybe I was born in 10 to 12 years. Things that will aggravate the dryness and therefore lead on to the more allergic forms of the condition are cold and dryness. And that kind of cold and dryness we get in the high felt winter where this child lives. Factors such as dust in the environment may also aggravate this dryness. And this child is exposed to mine dust in the Krugersdorp area, and this certainly aggravated. And so every day we sing Harazoa. Harazoa holy net fell us all more with him. And so I kiss at seven Najwan, but I can't try every day. Let alone lie, which or let a belly fell moody my bed. Mine tailings come from what would normally be an ore of a mineral which has been processed. So if you look in terms of the concentrations of some of the components, it would have higher components than what you would normally get in soils. According to research done by the University of the Northwest, it was discovered that cattle near Mohale City have chromium, cadmium, and uranium in their bone, liver, and kidneys. 
The research further notified that the main cause of exposure to these trace elements is the ingestion of toxic soil from the mine tailings around the area. This could be accidental or as a result of mineral seeking behavior by cattle, known as geophagia. <laughs> I know that, uh, uh, for example, they want to replace the mineral during pregnancy when uh, you know, iron is quite important, for example, to have it. It's quite a high concentration as well, iron. So to, instead of minerals or vitamins taken from the doctor, they use the clay. So, so this is quite well known. People are using like this. We've done uh, quite several um, uh, tests and analysis on um, mine tailings, particularly up, uh, from abandoned um, mines around uh, Johannesburg. An incubator that controls the temperature and the speed of the shaker is used to carry out the analysis. Through a litching test, soils and tailing solutions are used to determine the bioavailability of metals that can be taken by the body. Some of the environments that we stay in have mine tailings around, so that dust that blows from the tailings, the soils, the kids play around, they handle. So in, if they are consumed, we want to know what's the toxic level. So you get a lot of uh, trace metals or trace elements. Um, you get also in some cases some uh, cyanide. So there is quite a lot of components, it's a mixture of components that you get and uh, most of them are harmful to health. Cyanide is one of the most dangerous elements found in the mine tailings. It can exist as a gas, liquid or white powder. It is used in the electroplating industry, metal cleansing operations and as an industrial bug killer. Breathing the gas, drinking the liquid or eating solid forms can make people suddenly lose consciousness irritate the skin or cause death. We went to the Johannesburg CBD and saw the mine tailings which had been proven to be toxic as a test to see if people are aware of what they are buying. Someone bought it immediately. We did however stop them and told them that the mine tailings are toxic. People purchase this product without knowing what it contains or how it could affect their health. Please. Because of